Brad, $50,000 at Lakeside. First big sprint car race of the year for regardless of what series. It's got to feel pretty good to get that one out of the way and get a five-figure payday in May. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really cool, honestly. Um, like you said, first big race of the season as far as you know, big money race, uh, bigger than kind of standard pay. And you could feel it tonight. You know, I think the guys, you know, everybody's kind of itching to start making some money in the sprint car world after a long winter. And, um, you know, you only get so many chances throughout the season to, to get going. And uh, you want to build momentum, obviously, in May. You know, uh, to have a good June, July, and August; those are the the pre, you know, premium months for a sprint car racer. And, um, you know, really cool. Just uh, Napa car got really, you know, we've we've been really good the last two weeks. And I know, you know, we've had not great runs at times, but we've been kind of slowly gaining on it internally. Um, and I felt good that the weekend with uh, that we won the two races at Salina and uh, Southern Oklahoma, and a lot of that carried over here. We uh, we were we were kind of okay, you know, last night at Lakeside and. And just made some changes and got the car, you know, better and just, you know, been making good decisions. And and then, you know, obviously that compounds and, and the driver gains some confidence. So, uh, yeah, just really proud of the effort and uh, excited to uh, get the first 50,000 payday of the year. You started the season a little slow, struggling, win four out of the last five. What was it that needed to change or what did change or is it just getting races in? Uh, I think just the balance that you're looking for i think that's what everybody's searching for at all times and you know like you just get some confidence going and you make some good decisions and um you know get to some racetracks that you got a little experience at too lakeside's a place i've been to and had success at and um you know just i don't know we got the car really good last night and i just when you hit on hit on a setup sometimes and get the driver comfortable and confident and honestly it's been a really similar setup at you know all the different races we've won so I think it's just kind of honing in on your race car and, and working well as a team. And, you know, uh, we've been in this situation where, uh, you know, we won races and we won championships and uh, we've been around a little bit. So, um, you know, I, I kind of expected us to to maybe even start a little better, but it's not, you know, it doesn't surprise me that we that we're starting to figure it all out and, and uh, you know, get this thing rolling. I thought experience played a big role tonight. There was big rut at the bottom of three and four. You were able to avoid that. I thought it was similar to David Gravel last year at Lernerville. You were able to avoid it, and but the track was tricky. It was tough. Kyle didn't make it easy. Corey Day didn't make it easy. And uh, kind of how was your approach there in the last half of that race kind of to take control? Uh, it was good. I mean, it was um, basically Kyle's always that that wild card. You never know what you're going to get from Kyle. And he, he's been struggling too, but he's gaining speed every night. And he saw that Jacksonville the other night, and he was battling with the outlaws. And then, you know, uh, he was, I looked at the lap times last night, he was really fast. And, and then tonight you put him up front and, uh, I knew he was going to be tough. Um, but when you get your car good, you know, and then you get in the lap traffic, that's when you really get to show how good your car is because you're able to, to make lines work that the other guys aren't able to, but I wouldn't say my car was, you know, I wouldn't say it was way better than his. I, I feel like I could do a few things and it just, you know, kind of played out. I, you needed to have the lead there for sure. Uh, you know, once the 10 to go, that caution count would tend to go, um, you know, it was really, really good, crucial to have the lead. It, it, clean air here is, is a big deal. Um, and this track's so weird. It, it, it has a lot of character. It gains speed at times and, and builds ruts. And it's the slickest it is all night and hot laps and then slowly gets wetter. So uh, they did a good job, though. I mean, it was uh, – they had 10 inches of rain or something like that for, you know, the last week and a half leading into the event. So – um, you know, I just, I felt like my car was good enough when we got to lap traffic because I could pace Corey and Kyle kind of out in clean air. And you know, when you're able to do that, that, you know, you're kind of searching for lines at that point to put yourself in a good position to when lap traffic happens, you, you know, you, you kind of have the, that trick up your sleeve, so to speak. So, um, you know, just waited for us to get the lap traffic. Um, we kind of, we both got by Corey and then I got by Kyle and he got back by me and then, um was able to kind of like hunker down there. I felt like I needed to, to get back by him. You know, the race was, the brace pace was fast and it was tricky out there. So, uh, felt like I drove a good race. I felt like we had a good race car and, um, yeah, just super pumped right now. Last thing, and I'll let you, let you go, uh, assess the first couple months of high limit and how much are you looking forward to the rest of the year? Yeah, I think high limits is doing a great job. I mean, my cast is kind of, you know, leading the ship. 
Uh, you have Kendra Jacobs kind of on the, the fan experience side and, and marketing side and uh, JP and then, you know, just all Mike's guys, Anthony Carini and, and all the officials, uh, they're starting to work better and better together. Um, you know, when you come to an event, you feel like they're, they're really well ran. Um, you know, they're, they're efficient. Um, you know, we're making improvements. We've had nice, uh, <laughs> we've, had, we've had a lot of different things thrown our way as a as young series, but you can tell there's some experience and uh, we've been able to fight through a lot of adversity. Even here, you know, the lights going out, lights flickering, uh, you know, Riverside, the, the fence being torn down and, you know, just a lot of different things. So, I mean, that's what it's all about. You, you got to just keep fighting, uh, chipping away at it. And uh, they're all upbeat and, and having a lot of fun. And, you know, it helps. We have such a great roster of, of drivers that, that come out and put a great show on too. I mean, that's, that's half the battle. You know, Corey Day's been, you know, kind of a young phenom and that's fun to watch his story. And, uh, you know, Kyle's getting better. And honestly, I thought Rico would be in a little better, you know, would be a little bit, you know, more competitive right now, but I, I know they're going to get it turned around. And yeah, Brent Marks has been doing a great job. So just, just the whole, as a whole, I feel like Highlands is in a, in a really good place. Um, you know, just really excited for the summer months when, you know, all these big battles are going to come up and, you know, all the big races are going to to come into play. So if I was a sprint car fan, I'd be really excited for this year. Well, Brad, I'm going to let you go celebrate the win. Thank you very much for uh, joining me on a quick Zoom and congratulations on the win. Thanks, pal. Thank you. Thank you.